Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today with another, ex the, the other, not another, the other extrinsic material. That is the P-type material. P-type material. In the last video I gave a wrong heading. I gave the heading of P-type and I started discussing N-type, right? So in the P-type, what do you have? The trivalent impurities are added. Trivalent impurities are added to a semiconductor base, to a semiconductor, right? And what are trivalent? So we I've already told you atoms with three valence electrons. And what are the atoms with three valence electrons? These are the group three atoms of the periodic table. Now in this particular video, the example that I'm taking is that a boron impurity is added to a silicon base. For example, boron is added to a silicon base all right now what do you have the boron let's say this is the boron atom b so it has three valence electrons right okay these are the three valence electrons now if this is added into a silicon base so the silicon atoms will come around it covalent bonds will be formed similarly from this side And similarly from this side. And now what do you have? When the other silicon atom comes over here. So what will it have? It will find a vacancy of electron. It will find a vacancy of electron. And this vacancy is represented by a hole so which means three covalent bonds have been formed but the fourth is not formed due to the vacancy of electrons and this vacancy of electrons is called a hole all right now what do you have now as there is a vacancy of electrons so this can readily accept any free electron from outside and form a covalent bond so we can say that trivalent impurities are acceptor of electrons right the diffuse impurities with three valence electrons are acceptor atoms as we saw in the previous video the diffused impurities with three valence electrons are acceptor atoms is that fine because it has created a vacancy of electron and due to this vacancy any external free electron can come and fill up this space so this is the uh, acceptor of electron right so let me read it out from the book the p-type material is formed by doping a pure germanium or silicon crystal with impurity atoms having three valency of electrons now I told you what is doping, you know, the addition of impurity, addition of impurity, this is called doping, right? And the material formed after this doping, now this is not the extrinsic, this is the, this is not intrinsic, this is extrinsic material now, which is basically impure, right? The electrons most frequently used for this purpose are boron, uh, gallium and indium, right? Each is a member of the subset of elements of periodic table group 3, right? Because each has three valence electrons. The effect of these elements, boron, let's say, is uh, uh, studied over here. Note that there is now an insufficient number of electrons to complete the covalent bond of the newly formed lattice, right? They're talking about this insufficiency. 
The resulting vacancy is called a hole and is represented by a small circle or a plus sign. But remember that this plus, plus sign does not indicate a positive charge. This will indicate a vacancy of electron. So this whole symbol is most frequently used. Indicating the absence of the negative charge. Since the resulting vacancy will readily accept a free electron, the diffused impurities with three electrons are called acceptor atoms. Right? The resulting p-type material is electrically neutral for the same reasons as described for the n-type material. So what was the reason? That the number of electrons, this is electrically neutral, right? Uh, this, uh, we have a vacancy of electrons, but, but still it is electrically neutral. Because this is a vacancy of electron, not a, an efficiency of protons, right? It is electrically neutral because, because number of protons are still equal to the number of electrons. So that's the answer to the electrical neutrality of this lattice. So this is a crystal structure. This will repeat and repeat and repeat and we have a lot of holes in the in the n type material we had a lot of uh, electrons over here we have a lot of holes and this we will see in the next video they are called the majority carriers for which the next video is there so i believe i end it over here the p type material this is formed by adding trivalent impurities to a silicon or germanium or any semiconductor base so that's all about it see you in the next lecture very soon till then take care goodbye